hi people welcome back to my channel welcome to a new tutorial in this video we're going to learn about how to make use of OpenStreetMaps data so first you need to have some plugins and for you to download plugins here under the menu called plugins we are going to click on manage and install plugins So now you click on all so you can access all kinds of plugins that are in the QGIS repository. So the plugins that we need are for first we need the quick OSM plugin and also we need the quick map services plugin. So for me already I have them installed but when you want to install a plugin you need to search for it here. So for example the quick quick map services this one you search for it and then you you install it so you can see mine is already installed and the purpose of this plugin you can see it's written here in the description is for you to enable you it enables you to add base maps to your map and the other one for quick OSM which again you can see I've already installed it's used to download osm data so if you want to be able to access the osm data in your software you want to use it for other things you want to use it in your analysis and you're trying to figure out how you're going to download the data this plugin is going to help you with that so you need to install it so basically we use this plugin to download the osm data so after it installed if you go to your installed plugins you should be able to see it so you can see these are the list this is the list for my installed plugins and you can see i have my quick map services and the quick osm which is here anyway so after you've installed you should see some icons here on the toolbars and these first two here are the ones for quick osm and these ones here are for the quick map services so first thing we want to do you can see our map is plain we have nothing here so i want to add a base map for the quick map services so to do that you need to click on that and we are going to use the osm so we click on osm standard so you can see we have a base map for the whole world now we want to zoom in so i'm going to work with uh, the area around kenya so you can see this is showing us the base map for the area around kenya and now i want to show you how i can download data assuming i want to do analysis based on let's say buildings so i would want to download data for buildings so and assuming i want to use the osm data first i would click on this icon that looks like a search tool and then this menu is going to pop up and you can see the first thing here on the left sidebar here is the quick query this is where you specify which kind of data do you want to download and for which area so on the first thing here key you can click on this drop down and you can see different kinds of information here and this specifies what kind of data do you want to download is it a city houses so for example i want to download buildings so i'm going to search for building you click on it and then under the value you specify what type of building do you want to download do you want apartments do you want farms do you want hotels so for example here we are going to download apartments sorry and then here in this drop down you specify what is the location of the data you want to download do you want it in maybe a village or a town like if we use the in we can specify a town here if you want if you use the around you can say around some town you can use the canvas accent if you if you already have some data loaded like right now the osm base map is loaded and if i choose the canvas accent it's going to download for me data that is based on the extent of my current canvas accent that is 
going to calculate the coordinates of this area using the bounding box so the data that i will obtain will be for around this whole area that will include like some of these parts of somalia uganda and the rest and you can base it on a layer if you have a layer that's loaded you can use a layer but in this case we don't have another layer loaded we just have the this map and it's not a special extent you can use that option so in this case i'm going to choose nairobi and i want to download the data for apartments in nairobi so i'm just going to type nairobi so that means it's going to give me the data for the apartments in nairobi and here you can see there is a so if i just reduce this window a bit so you can see clearly you can see here we have the advanced area and here we can choose which kind of data do you want do you want points lines multi-line strings or multi polygons and we all know that a building is a polygon type so you can untick the rest it really depends with what you want if you want maybe the centroids of the buildings you can use points and the time mode determines the time that's going to take for the osm data to acquire data so if you know that the data you are going you want to download it not so much you can just leave it in the default time but if you're downloading so much data maybe you're downloading data for a very large area you can increase the time because once this time ra runs out it's going to fail this whole procedure is going to fail so you want to get your data so if you're downloading so much data you need to increase time maybe to this is in seconds so you can increase time you'll just try and see what time is enough to acquire your data and under the directory you specify where you want to store your data if you don't put anything it will just save it in a temporary file and in QGIS, a temporary a temporary file is a file that's going to be lost you will go you will lose it once the project is closed so it's advisable to just save it somewhere and you can click on show queries to see the type of query that you've specified so you can see here the time out is 25 seconds and the geocode area for this particular query is in Nairobi area and you can see I'm looking for building which is a type of apartments and now I'm ready to run my query so you can see it's telling me that the query is successful and as you can see in the layers panel you can now see my osm query which shows the building so let's close this and let's see what we have okay you can see you need to zoom in so we can see exactly what we have so you can see this data here you can see there are polygons and now these are the apartments that we have some of the apartments that we have in Nairobi based on the data collected by the OSM so if I open my base map you should be able to see where they're actually located and you can see they just match in well with the existing data in the base map so you can see where they are located like base map is good because it gives you an orientation of where your data is located yeah basically that's it so now we have the data for the for the buildings for the apartments in nairobi and now you're ready to proceed with your analysis so whatever data you want to download you can even download land use data so assuming you want to download land use data you just choose land use which is among these options in the key and then depending on what kind of land use do you want like if you want to see maybe farmland areas maybe you're doing analysis based on agriculture and you want to have data on farmlands you can just specify it and then specify where you want it you can say now at this point you can use the layer accent and then we choose the osm query maybe you want to have 
the extent of the extent of the buildings we want to have the farmland areas for the exact extent of the ones for the building areas so if you had selected some features you can tick on the only selected features but for that we haven't selected any so far so again if i say show query you can see the time is still the same and the, our land use now it's the farmland area and you can see here we have this b box value which means the bounding box and it's it has calculated the coordinates for the bounding box for a layer like it has created something like a rectangle which is going to tell it that download data for the, which are within this particular rectangle so after that you can just run the query successful query but no results so what does that mean it means in our query we had said we want farmland under land use in the extent of the OSM query which was in the extent of the buildings so when it's successful and there's no data it means there's no data for farmland with this within this particular area and that's possible yeah so you just search for whatever data you need for your analysis and you're ready now you're ready to have your data so this icon here on the right side of the layer it means this layer is temporary and if you want to store it in your database you just need to right click on it and you can save it now in permanently into your database like you can see there is this option of make it permanent because as i said this is currently a temporary layer so if i close this project without making it a permanent layer the next time i open this project i won't be able to access this data and that's not good it will mean that you have to download your data again so it's good to just so it permanently in your database anyway that's the end of this video now you know how to download osm data and how to use base maps in your map it's always good to have a base map because it gives the user an orientation of where the data you're trying to map is so it's really good anyway thanks so much for watching this video and see you in the next video